It's been progressing very quickly and the momentum in federal, state and local governments has been very strong and I think faster than many have expected. We've seen the adoption now by uh, multiple federal agencies, the General Services Administration, uh, NOAA, part of the Department of Commerce, the Department of the Interior, and the Department of Energy with the Lawrence Berkeley National Labs and the Idaho National Laboratories, and many others throughout the, uh, throughout the federal government. In the state and local government arena, we see the state of Wyoming, the state of Utah, the state of Colorado, the state of Maryland, and cities like Pittsburgh and the city of Orlando and, and, and many others. Uh, so I, I think that uh, the cloud in government has become mainstream and that the, the question is, is no longer uh, why can't I move to the cloud uh, and it's now become why aren't I moving to the cloud. And uh, I think what's really been important is that there is this recognition that uh, cloud computing is a more powerful technology at a lower cost with better security. And at Google we've been focused on uh, particularly collaboration capabilities and things that you can do entirely uh, in the web without client software. And that allows a, uh, an experience where employees have access to these capabilities anytime, anywhere. It enables remote uh, working and it enables the ability to work in teams in a way that wasn't possible before. I think agencies should look at uh, what their driver is for, for moving to the cloud. And uh, I think what, what at Google, our, our philosophy around cloud computing is, and particularly in the government, is that cloud computing is not about doing the same thing you did before cheaper and just uh, checking a box that says I've taken this capability and moved it to the cloud. Uh, Cloud computing for Google is about doing things that you couldn't do before. And so in the case of Google Apps for Government, that, that means the real-time collaboration in, in Google Docs of uh, multiple users working in the same document in the same time, seeing right where the, the cursor is and the uh, text character by character text entries of uh, individuals working from around the country or around the world using different devices, whether it's a laptop, or a tablet or a mobile phone. I, I think that's the, the important thing that agencies need to, to look at because the advantage of, of, of the cloud, uh, again, is not just uh, the concept of hosting or re-engineering what was happening on premise uh, in, a, in a different way on the back end. It's really about changing the way users are experiencing technology and helping them to do their work better. Users want a bigger mailbox. They want the capability to work from anytime, anywhere. They have the expectation that the, the technologies they're using at home, the consumer technologies, uh, will, will be available when they go to work, but, but oftentimes they're not. Uh, and, and even President Obama ha has said that uh, the children of federal employees go to school with more powerful technologies in their backpack than oftentimes federal employees have at, at, at their desks at, at work. So cloud computing can, can truly solve that problem. It's, it's not just a, uh, a box to check and um, kind of leave users with you know, no advancement, but advancement on the back end. It's, uh, it's about really changing the way that uh, government employees are working. The GSA uh, email as a service BPA allows agencies a one-stop shop for uh, acquiring email as a service like Google Apps for Government. Uh, so they can use this blanket purchase agreement to uh, quickly develop uh, their, their requirements and, and issue a task order and get the process moving quickly to, uh, to move to the cloud and, and, and new capabilities.